Hi folks, just arrived in the stock, our 2011 Honda Jazz GLI hatch. Uh, this vehicle was just traded in from our new car department here at Packenham as, as of yesterday, so it is fresh stock for us. Uh, but we'll do a quick video for you today, so if we get any fresh inquiries or people looking at the vehicle, we can send it to you straight away. Uh, but just please bear in mind, it has only just come into stock, so our touch-ups haven't been done as yet, but they will get done as a process of selling once the car is sold uh, and ready to go. But I'll walk you around the car itself. As you see, front hubcap, really good condition. Tire condition is fantastic. Uh, and then I'll head along the driver's side door. Color coded mirrors and door handles. Again, there is a couple little scratches that we need to take care of just as part of touch up. You probably can't see in the video, uh, but our touch up guy is booked in for today to take care of those. So nothing too undertowards, uh, but we'd rather point them out to say they will be rectified moving forward. Coming along the rear door, again, a couple little minor marks. Again, you probably can't see them, but we'll get them taken care of uh, part of the reconditioning department of our car. Uh, but for the price this car is advertised at and the age of the vehicle, um, it's intended to have, or it's entitled to have a few little marks here and there, but we will get them looked at with our touch-up guy um, to make them look as best we physically can. Coming to the back side of the vehicle, really clean condition again. Uh, nothing too major to point out along here. Uh, we try and be pretty critical if there's any marks or scratches. Uh, pretty clean condition throughout. Again, our touch-up guy will go around the car once it goes through the process, but for as a whole, the car is in pretty good condition anyway. Coming to the back side of the vehicle, really clean condition. No marks or scratches here that I can see. Again, if there is any, we'll get them taken care of with our touch-up man, but nothing untowards again uh, for a 2011 model vehicle. Coming to your rear hubcap and tyre. Hubcap is in great condition, tyre is in fantastic condition. Uh, and again, we'll move along the passenger side. Nothing that stands out that's gonna scare you in any way. Really clean condition otherwise. Um, but we're pretty lucky to have this in a price range this car's advertised at. Normally these cars in this range don't normally last too long. Uh, so if this is something you're after, try and get in pretty quick to us. Uh, and then driver's door and driver's guard, really clean condition again. Come down to your front hubcap, a few minor marks on that one, which is a gutter side normally, and tyre condition is fantastic. So quickly as we walk around the car, you'll see condition of the vehicle is actually quite good. Uh, again, there's a few small stone chips which we will get taken care of. Our guy will do the best he physically can, uh, but for the age of the car and the kilometres of travel, it's in very good condition. So what I'll do from here is I'll show you the back seats and then we'll jump into the front of the car. All right, so starting from the back seats, as you'll see, really clean condition. No splits or tears in the seats, no stains. Really clean throughout. Has been looked after really well interior-wise. Um, probably doesn't look like a 2011 model vehicle the way it's been kept for and cared for. Uh, but looking at the carpet section as well, really clean condition. No tears in the back of the seats from kids and such. And carpet section through there is very, very clean. Uh, your door card on that side, really clean condition. And then I'll bring it back to the passenger side door card just to show you how clean that is as well. So what I'll do from here is I'll jump inside the car and we'll go through some of the features and just show you the overall condition of the front vehicle as well. All right, so current kilometers on the vehicle is 110546, so really good kilometers. Uh, only light showing is your handbrake light and your seatbelt light, so no engine lights to be seen. Uh, coming back to your steering wheel, nothing too major to scare you there. You do have your indicators on the right-hand side of your steering wheel and your wipers on the left-hand side. Uh, electric mirrors which are just down here. So electric mirrors are right hand side of your steering wheel and vehicle does come with two keys. And also your power windows and button for locking the power windows. And I think this is your Bluetooth just up here. So that's your Bluetooth settings. Again, I haven't played with it, but I think it, it does work, but uh, we'll confirm that uh, when you come through. But from my memory, Bluetooth does work fine. Coming across to your stereo section, nice and easy. You've got your volume control in the middle, which is this dial here. Uh, your preset stations, which are up here, all the way through. Your hazard lights, FM, CD buttons, your seek buttons, pretty easy system to use. Uh, air conditioning and heating are really, really easy. You'll see the dial uh, down here is your directions, cool and hot, and your fan speed. So nothing too strenuous there that's gonna kind of confuse you. Uh, your air conditioning button, directions are where the fan speed will go. And then moving down, you do have your USB outlet and 12 volt plug output dual cup holder as well and a little storage compartment there and then your transmission which I'll put back in the park again nice and easy to use down to whatever gear you want to go to but nice and simple to use nothing too strenuous there a uh, handbrake handbrake can't even talk today and dual uh, cup holder on the rear or storage compartments and coin holder as well and then I'll show you the front seat just to show you the condition as well really clean conditions throughout again so has been cared for really really well folks uh, again for the age of the car it's in really good condition to be honest um, and the price point that it's advertised that I don't think it'll last too long. So 
like I said, please get into us very quickly if this is something you're after, um, because cars in this price range do move really quickly. Um, so what I'll do from here is I'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Okay, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video from Packin' a Mazda on our 2011 Honda Jazz GLI hatchback. Uh, it's been a pleasure to take you through the car. If you've got any inquiries moving forward, you can either speak to Darren, Oliver, or myself. Uh, we'd love to look after you moving forward. Again, my name is Glenn Smith. Again, have a great day, and we look forward to meeting you in person. Thanks for watching. Zoom, zoom.